The Panama Canal has long been one of the most critical trade routes in the world, a marvel of engineering and innovation. That has connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans since its opening in 1914. Handling around 5% of global trade annually, the canal has been instrumental in shaping modern commerce. Yet today, the Panama Canal is facing a crisis that threatens its future and has ripple effects on global trade. In this video, we dive deep into the challenges facing the canal, explore the ambitious alternatives emerging to replace or supplement its role and examine what the future holds for this vital waterway. For decades, the he has served as a lifeline for global commerce, allowing ships to bypass the perilous and time-consuming journey around the southern tip of South America. However, the canal's operations have become increasingly strained due to a combination of environmental, logistical, and economic challenges. The Panama Canal relies on freshwater reservoirs, particularly Gatton Lake, to operate its system of locks that lift and lower ships across varying elevations. However, these water reserves are drying up. The canal is experiencing its worst water shortage in decades, with Gatton Lake's levels at their lowest point in nearly 60 years. The primary culprit? Climate change. Droughts in Panama are becoming more frequent and severe reducing the rainfall needed to replenish the reservoirs. This water crisis has forced the Panama Canal Authority ACP, to take drastic measures. Daily transits, which typically ranged between 36 and 38 ships, have been slashed to just 24. To conserve water, ships are now subject to stricter draft restrictions, meaning they can carry less cargo. This has caused shipping costs to skyrocket, with some routes seeing freight price increases of up to 400 percent. The ripple effects are being felt across global supply chains, driving up the cost of goods and complicating logistics. Growing demand, limited capacity compounding the water crisis is the increasing size and volume of global shipping. Modern megaships, designed to maximize efficiency, are larger than ever, but many of them are too big to fit through the canal's locks even after the $5.25 billion expansion project completed in 2016. The expanded locks, known as the Panama Canal Third Set of Locks, were designed to accommodate larger vessels, but they too face limitations due to water shortages and operational constraints. The number of ships vying for passage through the canal is also growing. With global trade projected to continue its upward trajectory, the Panama Canal's ability to keep up with demand is increasingly uncertain. This has opened the door for competitors to propose alternative trade routes that could rival the canal's dominance. As the Panama Canal grapples with its challenges, other nations and private entities are racing to develop alternative trade routes. These ambitious projects aim to capture a share of the $270 billion worth of cargo that passes through the canal annually. Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor One of the most advanced alternatives is Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor. This project uses a 308-kilometer railway to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans across southern Mexico, from the port of Coatzacoalcos on the Gulf Coast to Salina Cruz on the Pacific Coast. Instead of ships traveling directly between oceans, cargo is unloaded at one port, transported by rail, and reloaded at the other port. This setup offers several advantages. It bypasses the long and dangerous journey around South America and avoids the bottlenecks of the Panama Canal. The project also includes significant upgrades to both ports, making it a comprehensive solution for modern trade. With an estimated cost of $7.5 billion, the corridor aims to handle up to 1.4 million TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units, annually by 2033. While it may not entirely replace the Panama Canal, it provides a viable alternative, especially during times of congestion or drought. Nicaragua's ambitious mega-canal Nicaragua has proposed one of the most ambitious and controversial alternatives to the Panama Canal, the Nicaragua Mega Canal. This massive project involves building a 278-kilometer canal connecting bluefields on the Caribbean coast to Punta Gorda on the Pacific. If completed, it would be over three times the length of the Panama Canal and capable of handling the world's largest ships. The numbers are staggering. The canal's estimated cost is $64.5 billion, and its locks are planned to be significantly larger than those of the Panama Canal. 
However, the project has faced numerous challenges, including a lack of funding, environmental concerns, and the displacement of local communities. While the Nicaraguan government remains committed to the project, experts are skeptical about its feasibility, and progress has been minimal. Colombia's rail-based solution Colombia is also stepping into the race with its proposal for a 240-kilometer railway connecting its Atlantic and Pacific coasts. This project, estimated to cost between $7 billion and $13 billion, aims to provide a faster and more efficient trade route across the Americas. Like Mexico's corridor, it relies on rail transport to bridge the gap between oceans. However, the Colombian project faces significant hurdles. The route cuts through environmentally sensitive areas, requiring extensive consultations with indigenous and Afro-Colombian communities. Financial and logistical challenges also loom large. Despite these obstacles, the project highlights the growing interest in rail-based alternatives to the Panama Canal. The Northwest Passage as Arctic ice continues to melt due to climate change, the Northwest Passage is emerging as a potential trade route. This sea route connects the North Pacific and North Atlantic Oceans, offering a significantly shorter journey between Asia and Europe. While still risky and seasonal, the Northwest Passage could become a viable option for certain types of shipping in the future. The Panama Canal's fight for survival despite the competition, the Panama Canal is not going down without a fight. The ACP is implementing both short-term fixes and long-term upgrades to secure its place in global trade. To address the current water crisis, the ACP has introduced a new booking system that limits each customer to one slot per day, improving efficiency. The new locks now use 7% less water per transit, and additional conservation measures are showing positive results. The centerpiece of the canal's long-term strategy is the Indio River Dam project, a $1.6 billion investment to build a new reservoir. This project aims to secure enough water to support a minimum of 36 daily transits, even during severe droughts. Expected to be completed by 2030, the dam is a critical component of the canal's future. The ACP is also exploring the possibility of a land-based alternative, known as the Panama Land Bridge. This rail and truck corridor would connect the Atlantic and Pacific coasts without relying on Gatton Lake's water reserves. With a capacity to handle up to 5 million containers annually by 2045, the land bridge could serve as a backup option during peak demand and droughts. The future of global trade The challenges facing the Panama Canal are a microcosm of the broader shifts occurring in global trade. Climate change, technological advancements, and evolving supply chain demands are forcing nations and industries to rethink traditional trade routes. While the Panama Canal remains a critical artery for global commerce, its future is uncertain. Emerging alternatives like Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor and Nicaragua's Mega Canal highlight the growing competition, but they also face their own challenges. As the world watches the race to replace or supplement the Panama Canal, one thing is clear. The stakes have never been higher. Whether through innovation, investment, or international cooperation, the future of global trade will depend on finding solutions to these complex challenges. Let us know in the comments which alternative you think has the best chance to succeed and how the Panama Canal can adapt to maintain its crown as a global trade leader.